Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, Rino's Kazi going Bad Office. Welcome and happy Valentine's to everyone those who are celebrating. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna farm some charms. Uh, really easy farm, everyone can farm it. There are no requirements, except maybe having heirlooms. Maybe not even, even that. So, uh, yeah, there are no requirements, really easy for spot to farm, as you can see. You can farm it with one hand, easy peasy, click in one button. So, guys, let's dive into this. I don't have the ability to render uh, right now. Uh, I have some issue with my, uh, I don't know, like it's RAM or graphic or whatever. Uh, I cannot render, so I will try to make a TLDR or, or, of the whole method as fast as I can, without editing, without anything. So, guys, if I do some mistake, bear with me. Uh, anyway, guys, starting with this... Uh, uh, it's, it's basically like level 6 twink, right? So this is what you need to do, guys. Create level 1 troll druid. I'm gonna say in the end how we can make for alliance as well. But create level... Uh, for those who wanna do it, uh, escort, who doesn't have anything to lose or whatever. Uh, level 1 troll druid, because you start here. So uh, when you get your troll druid and level 1, um, make yourself some heirlooms, right? You can do that through your tab, whatever level you are. And make yourself some heirlooms. And then going through the, uh, I mean, going to here, you know, you need to kill everything on your way, you know, so you can actually get to level 6. Uh, and if you're not level 6 by, by the time you get here, you basically run around this in circles until you get yourself to level 6. When you get to level 6, you go from here, from this flying pet, you're gonna have discovered Orgimar uh, automatically. So you're gonna go to Orgimar. The next thing you need to do is stop your experience, get yourself lovely charms collector kit from the goblin. I'm gonna show you later where the goblin is. And uh, uh, basically, st uh, and set your hearthstone, right? And that's your, your job there is uh, over. No, actually, it's not over. When you get the lovely charms collector kit, you go outside of Orgimar and kill some stuff here until you get 10 charms. When you get 10 charms, go back to Orgimar and you can log out. Or basically, buy yourself this potion first and you can log out. It's Enchantress uh, Perfume from the same goblin that you're getting the lovely charms collector kit or for, from the goblin next to it. But basically, it's the same location. So... Uh, you get yourself this, uh, you know, perfume because it makes you one-shot the boars, as you can see. Look, right? And after that, you, you need to log out and go to your main because what, you, what, what you're gonna have to do next is uh, send yourself 10 gold for the stopping the experience. You're gonna discover that you need gold. Send yourself 10 gold and recreate the heirlooms that you have already on your alt, you know. Uh, get on your main all the heirlooms that you have on your alt. Pick everything that has haste on it and enchant on everything that you can haste. I will tell you later why. Uh, right, so you have uh, neck with haste, you have uh, shoulder, this doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't work, it's bugged. Uh, you have cloak with haste as well, it's gift of haste, I think. It's called, this is also gift of haste. Then you have two rings that I bought on Auction House for like 500 gold each, it's white, you know, it doesn't matter. It, does. it doesn't have any stat, but you put haste on it and it's good. Uh, gift of haste here. Uh, here, I think it's catwalk or so, what, something, I'm not really sure. Uh, greater haste and greater haste. I'm pretty sure that's the enchants that I've been using, but you can check it out, right? So, you enchant all the gear that you can, also this you buy from Auction House. And you enchant all the heirlooms, and then you send them over to your uh, alt. I'm using this and that uh, as trinket, I mean, both of these, basically. And then I use one-hander and off-hand because they both give haste, which is really good. So, as you can see, I have 22% of haste. Now... After you get all those heirlooms, you send yourself on your, uh, send them on your alt, and uh, I mean on your new created level six twink, and you equip those stuffs, stop your experience if you haven't gold already before, and then from Orgimar you fly here. So your experience need to be stopped. This you should have Enchantress perfume, and you need to be level six. So you you fly over here again back right. So and from here you walk over to this uh, th through the valley of. Trials or something. This is where the orcs are starting. Basic or orcs are starting here. This is where the boars are. And after that, you just make yourself this macro. So you have this macro that you need to do. Um, where is it? Target enemy, cast moon, moon fire, cast berserk. I'm gonna put this in the description, I believe, as well. So you, if you cannot make it by yourself, you can copy pasta, right? So, uh, and after you, you get the macro, you just basically need to click five and lay down, watch yourself some streams, some video you know my videos watch some tv shows whatever inventory is full i cannot farm anymore as you can see i finished farming for today here i'm gonna have another stream farming session but guys let's move on uh that is all you need to do and that's how the stuff starts now you're gonna ask probably like why haste uh well as you can see i'm one-shotting these mobs you know so uh it doesn't matter like you don't benefit from any other stat anymore at this point when you have the heirlooms when you have you know just the heirlooms, basically, are enough for you, and the potion, of course, are enough for you to one-shot the mobs. As you can see, I'm doing 
95 damage on them and they have 87 health so i'm over overdoing their their health for for a bit more so uh basically the only thing that can benefit is more global cooldowns because every global cooldown for me it's a kill as you can see i don't stop like all the time it's just kill every global cooldown so what matters for me is that global cooldown those moon fires to roll faster so i kill more mobs because when i finish with these mobs i go over here and i continue killing you know there is no stop you see that's why i stay on the outside of this uh, area and just just run like this you finish this stuff you go back you finish this stuff you go back and at some point uh one of these pools will st will, will stop uh i mean will start respawning constantly uh, i don't know if i had any of the procs but i usually have like 56 or something percent when berserking is on which is my troll ability and when my proc from the weapon is on which is mark of the war song that's what i'm using on the weapon i forgot before so that's why haste we are using here uh and i'm uh, averaging 952 uh i mean 956 actually was the maximum i got yesterday on the stream we do we did couple runs tests with with haste with versatility with crit with whatever haste given the the best result i think if like that's all uh there is also like uh food that you can get for haste but it's all uh, from the pil pilgrims um uh, pilgrims bounty stuff you know the, the stuff that you're getting on pilgrim uh event that is happening once in a year as well like love is in the air uh and that is basically all you know uh for alliance you create yourself a shadow priest, a human, or knight of druid. Knight of druid is a bit more complicated because you need to get him down to stormwind uh, somehow. So we'll need probably a mage. But I think shadow priest also works pretty good, you know. So what you need to do is basically the same. Create your shadow priest. Uh, the shadow priests, uh, the human shadow priests, I mean the human priests are starting from... I mean priest, not shadow priest. It doesn't matter at this point. You cannot really... Uh, where is this elven, man? He's here, isn't it? No, it's Duskwood. He's here, isn't it? What? Where is Elvin? Oh, there you go. That's the Elvin. Alright, so basically you start here in Northshire uh, when you're human. So you start here, you get level 6 around here. You go to Stormwind. You get yourself, you stop experience. You get yourself lovely chance collector kit. Uh, you, you go out in the Elvin forest. You kill a couple mobs. Uh, and... I mean, you can Hearthstone back at that point And just kill a couple mobs. Get 10 charms. Go back. Buy yourself the potion. And after that... We need to go, why the fuck I closed it, man? Oh my god, I'm stupid. Um, and after that, when you get your uh, your perfume, right? Lovely Charms Collector Kit, your, your experience is top. You got all the heirlooms, you got all enchants and everything else. What you need to do is just walk over here. And this is the zone where there are a lot of orcs spawning. And I think they're respawning as, as well instantly. Here, the boars are never, like, you will never see on both of these, there is no boar. There is no fucking way. I've never seen that. I farmed here for like... 10 hours now this spot might be nerfed guys at this point i don't know like it's 15th of uh, february right now so at this point it works but i don't know if it will work until like you know in the next like year or something so i don't know when you're gonna watch the video but make, make sure you check it out on your level 110 if the mobs are like respawning fast and you create new char come over here kill couple mobs see if you can get some charms stuff like that so yeah uh, but that's all guys, I mean, if you have any questions or any uh, suggestions or anything uh, at all to add, feel free to add. I've been having a lot of fun actually uh, farming this spot, it's not the most efficient charm farming spot, I think Shmogushan Palace gives a bit more. But you know, that's a lot of requirements, you need to be level 100, you need to have a monk level 100, you need to have nice gear, you need to have like this, you need to have like that, you know, so there are a lot of requirements, it takes time and gold and, and everything basically. For this, all you need to do is like spend three to 5,000 gold and uh level your char to level six do a couple runs to orgimar and basically that's all you know so it's pretty easy to do this stuff and it's beneficial for all for all those people that are asking me hey man how can i do some gold on level one or something well in the next 24 hours you have a chance to uh make a goal and yes for the last guys i know that someone will ask me this question yo bro uh yo bro what are charms i started talking macedonian for some reason uh, yo bro what's our, uh, what are charms and what can you do for uh, with them well as you can see charms are these lovely charms right this is what you're farming you don't have to loot the mobs by having the lovely charms collector kit you kill mobs you get the charms you right click the charms you make these bracelets right so 10 charms equal one one of these bracelets you go to the vendor well now i'm gonna uh, you know i i told you i will uh, i will show you how we can actually stop the experience i will show you where the goblins are so for, for ending that will be and also i'll explain what you can do with the charms and how you can do the gold basically with this thing for people that are kind of um not having the informations you know or whatever so uh if you want to stop the experience you go over here on the top of this building 
And there is on the top a guy that is stealth and that will wait for you to stop your experience. So that's all. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go up. I mean, it's not that far. Uh, I wanted to like save on, on some um, on some movie, <laughs> on some film tape, tape, film tape. But it doesn't matter. Uh, so basically, you just stop the experience here. You need to give, uh, give this guy 10 gold. So yeah, there you go. That's the stealth guy. For Alliance, uh, you need to go to... I will actually tell you for Alliance how I can do this. I think it's only for Stormwind. I'm not really sure. Uh, so you need to go over here to Stormwind Keep. On the right side of the of the king, there is a... In this corner, basically. This is the exact position of the guy. So you go on the spot where I show with the, with the mouse there. And you talk to the guy. Give him 10 gold and he gonna stop. I wish to start gaining experience now. Uh, for me, this is start gaining. Also, you need to pay for that 10 gold. But basically, 10 gold you pay for stopping the experience. Now, I don't want to get experience because I'll farm this tonight as well a bit more. And the event lasts while we're running down. The event lasts until tomorrow, 10. So, yeah, we have around, like, we have some time. Doesn't matter, though. Uh, okay, so this is uh, where we stop the experience. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show is where the goblin is. And... Meanwhile, uh, I wanted to say something, uh, it's when you create this lovely charm bracelets, you're gonna see you can buy love tokens from this goblin, we're gonna go there. Uh, you can also sell these love uh, bracelets without transforming them to anything else, you know, you can just trade this with people. You cannot send them obviously into mail or post them on auction house, you see. You cannot mail items with limited item duration, but you can trade them to people, like I can go over to this guy and I can trade him one. This is 200 gold I'm giving him right now. There you go. See? There. I just give him some lovely uh, bracelet. Moon fair. He targets me. He's gonna say thank you, bro. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, that's how uh, that's how you can actually uh, sell them. If he traded me 200 gold there, I would have been 200 gold richer. But uh, yesterday I farmed around 38,000 gold in a matter of like one and a half hour or something. One hour and 45, 50 minutes with this method and. I've spent a lot of, of that on, on a, a lot of random stuff. I, I've changed some of the... Tr uh, I first tried with versatility and then I changed to haste everything so I can test and give you some feedback, right? So, uh, this is the goblin, right? So, you see Orgimar? For Alliance, this is where it is. For Alliance, it's in Trade District. It's uh, in Trade District, it's, it's here. Somewhere, I believe. If they didn't change it. So, it's here, there is like a, a lot of goblins, right? So, this is where the goblin is. This is the goblin that you're getting lovely charm collector kit. Since I have now, it doesn't give me the option. But if I don't have, like if I say let's, I drop it. I like to s get lovely charm collector kits. That, that, that's how you get the kit. And this is what g uh, allows you to get charms by killing the... And this is the vendor. So as you can see, lovely charm bracelet. I can buy myself love token, right? With this. Buy myself love token. And I can buy for all of the bracers love tokens. However... Uh, with the tokens later, you can buy yourself pets, lovebird hatching, and uh, pedal fit. You can sell them on auction house. I think they're like 1k to 4k right now, last time I, s I checked. And then you can buy yourself for 270, you can buy yourself this love swift lovebird. Currently, it's around 65,000 gold on my server. Uh, love boat you can buy. This is uh, bind on picked up, so you cannot sell this, but this stuff you can sell. So you can sell. Uh, you can make gold e either by trading this stuff to people that want to buy love tokens that want to buy something for themselves or you can sell the mount or the pet or whatever you want so that's basically how you can make gold you know a lot of people will ask me how uh you can do gold with this stuff and that's how you can do it so guys hopefully i helped you hopefully i mean it was not too late for some people will probably be able to still profit maybe the next year we can still use this stuff so it will stay like a like a reference uh to the next year as well but Thank you guys for watching, uh, hopefully I didn't annoy you much because I couldn't really edit some parts, but I, I was trying to stay, you know, giving you some info while traveling and stuff, so anyway. Uh, if you like this, uh, I mean, this kind of content, you know, about gold, about wow, about my stuff and whatever, uh, feel free to subscribe, like the video, it helps me a lot and it helps the channel a lot, uh, I appreciate uh, for you guys a lot, and uh, until the next time guys, uh, listen to your parents, be good boys, battle fist, stay cool, and see you in the next one, we're off.